everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Machines 3. So, I'm guessing that I sh all of these are on the same difficulty. Yeah, it's as easy underneath here. So let's just start with the top one and work down. First level. Level 9. So there is an order to it. So I should turn on the music box. Well, that thing, okay. I have a lever there that I probably will drop the ball on. And then I have a cogs. Will that move? I don't know. I don't know how precise you need to be for it to work because that, for me, that is not, wouldn't work. Okay, you need to be like precise, probably. Hmm. Let's just see. Where did I have it? I don't know. Will that move? I think not. Okay, it does move actually. So we don't need to be realistic. So this would probably work. Wrong mouse button. And then we have two more cogs. But we need... Can we move this one up maybe? No, we can't move that one. Okay. That will work, and now, good! And that means we need to move this one, that will probably not be effective. Hmm. The problem is, I don't know, will that work? No, it will not. But if I had a cog here, it will work. Yeah. And both are not touching, so it's hard to see if things will work. I will move some stuff around and see. Okay, I just noticed one thing that I have one more red cog. So you doesn't you don't need to use black magic for it to work. You probably just need to use one extra cog. So yeah, you should probably look one extra time. <laughs> Will the button move it? Nope. I don't know if it can place this one so it gets moved. I don't think so. Except here. And there. But not on the diagonal. Where can we place these ones? Okay. The cogs work best on vertical and horizontal but in other directions not as well so have it like this then you use just use horizontal movement and vertical movement so straight line here straight line straight line straight line straight line straight line It's a lot easier to solve puzzles like this when you have learned the limitations of a game. I should load it off a truck. Okay. I have a motor, two cogwheels, and a trapdoor. Okay. 
Okay, so trapdoor should probably be here. Okay. There's a plank here. So we should move a plank forward on some cogs, I guess. This should probably not move it forward. Maybe. Not 100% sure. Okay, that one can't be there. Because of a plank. Okay. Have that one here. And this one, like there. Now, that one's in the wrong place. Good. It's working! Awesome! The car is driving away! So now, I should make the blacksmith, this guy, hammer of metal several times. Okay, if that one's moving... Okay. Do I need more than... Like... More cogs? What happens if I do... This one is... Orange. Why is it orange? Hmm... I'm curious. I should delete these. Delete the ones I don't use. So that's closer. That's overlapping, that's too close. Can't place it here. Same problem as before. It won't overlap in a good way. And these ones are built in pretty much the same way. So they will not work either. That one connects really good, but I don't think... I don't think this will work. Yeah. It just locks up. What's this? Nope. I must say I'm not the biggest fan of cogs... cogs... cog wheels. Because... can't use precise movement. <laughs> so it's hard to know, it's hard to place them well. But at least I did it there. And same thing here. Use just straight 90 degree turns and how it works out. So you should just try and do that. Okay, I should put the gear here. Hmm. We have a motor here. We have a boxing glove here. We have a ball over there. Now the ball rolls down. Hmm. That thing is built so it can roll on top of cogwheels, like that. And then the motor activates, okay, good. I don't actually know what would happen, I have to guess that you needed to do something like that. So now I just need to build cogwheels from here to over there. And from what I've learned from the two earlier levels, 
is that you only use 90 degree turns. So what I should do is go up here and then go straight to the other side. This cogwheel is a bit too small. Is this one larger? Not really. I think they are the same size. And the cogs are in the same places. So I don't know the function of that cogwheel. Let's see here. One. Is this the right height? Yeah, it looks like it. Good. And I don't know what I should use that one for. I don't know what's special about it. But here we go. And one thing that could be a problem on this level is that you have it rotating the other way, so you move the cogwheel the wrong way around. But that wasn't a problem for me. I should bring the barrel to the other side. Here, okay. This cogwheel should go there, no question about it. We need something to hit there. Okay. That's some rope. Let's give it one highest power. Okay. Nope. Let's remove it and change to that one. Okay. Hmm. So I have that to change the button. This box drops down. It <laughs> And we were using the same color thing that a lot of other games have, where usable objects has a d different shade than other ones. I balanced this wrong. That's how I should do it. Boom! Good. And now I need it just to stay, get over to the other side. And this one was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a small thing. But it was pretty big. And now the level is solved. Next one! Okay. So I should make this one fly. This one should go there. Okay. We have movement here first. We could drop the ball by doing this. That would make it go here and then stop. It's nothing really good. We have two cogs. We don't have an engine anywhere. Or we have three cogs. Now, this thing is stable. I don't get this arrow. Make him fly high into the air. They are pointing upward. A rope? What can you attach a rope to? Oh, balloons! And the bucket. Okay. So, you should use rope to the balloons. That will hold the bucket up. Then we need to push that dude down. Okay. That means we need the balloon here. That ball drops. Goes there. That would probably not be a good idea. 
We need something to push him here. Could use a balloon to move that one as well, maybe. So, something like that. But I don't know how useful that would be. Okay. We have... These objects are probably right. But this one is wrong, most definitely. Looks like a perfect placement here for it. And that's it. But I don't think it should be placed there. Because then nothing good happens. That balloon should probably be placed there to open this hatch. Okay, maybe it should. Yeah, it should. To open that door. So now we got those parts. Now we need something to move this one here and this one. I don't... Hmm... They are not really that mobile file. What happens if I move this one here and... Okay, now it's like that. Hmm. Nyeh. Not what I wanted. Is this better? No. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. That works. I did not know that these could flip up, but that's what the arrows were for, so... Okay, we need to... To have it in the middle, so the, the wheel moves down. We want both of them to lift up. Like that. Perfect. Then we need a boxing glove and this thing here. We just need to place it so they touch. And I don't know if they do now or not. They do not. And then we need to place it so this one is getting touched as well, I think. Or have it activate in some other way. We could probably maybe remove one of these, but I will not do that now. Hmm. Rolling down. That might be a hit. Nope, we need to move up one. But then we'll probably miss this one here. Yeah. But I can have it on that distance. So something like this, maybe? Nope, it stopped the rotation. Boom. Okay. Need to move it down one. There's a lot of movement here. Will it hit it? Will it hit it? No, it would not. And I don't know if these two will hit now. You could probably have a balloon here. Okay. Move this one there. And like that. But it di did not work. Probably need 
need to have it like this. That will not hit. Hmm. And we need to have a bucket here first. I don't know. I'm not sure how to do it now. Yeah. So we can't do it like that. We need to use a wheel for it. I'll cut here and see what I can figure out off camera. So this thing here is stable when you have it on one wheel, or on two wheels. So you could probably do something like this. And get it to work. See the small rotation here? Boink! Woohoo! The bunny goes up in there! I don't know if that's how you should do it, but it worked. So you should get the basketball into the bucket. Okay, there we have a basketball. It's not moving from the beginning. We have a balloon, we have a cogwheel, we have a rope point. Okay. Guessing the rope should be there. And then go like that. Then we have one here. And one here. Hmm. We can use a balloon to go up like that. Could have something like this. To stop it from moving or going, make it go back. So that piece drops the balloon. Okay, here. Let's have another cogwheel. It's not moving now, okay. So it was just moving because of the weight. Let's see how that changes things. In a very good way. We have one more rope. That works. So I sold... <coughs> so I sold it with one rope left. Is this a new area? I think so. So that will be all for me today. If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.